what's up everyone let's see this this is not a fishing video well it is a fishing video it's gonna be a fishing video okay here's the deal um man it's it's right in the middle of the dog days of summer i mean it's hot every day it's 100 degrees and i haven't really been fishing um on purpose on purpose and i hadn't had a chance to uh we finished up the last time i went fishing was the brandon belt event on on Toledo Bend and since then uh, it has been it has been one thing after another I had to we had to go to ICAST right after that and I thought me and Hallman were gonna be able to, to um, get a bass singer therapy in me and even maybe even Andrew and uh, it, it never got done I, we looked up and me and Hallman it, it was probably the least amount of sleep I've ever had at an ICAST I swear I had like 12 hours of sleep in the four days I was there um, it, it just, it just ended up like, like life's getting busy. Right. And so we, we get done with that. I had a couple of track meets in there that I had to go to. Um, we had a, a soccer tournament down there in Galveston. I thought I could maybe get away and, and do a little saltwater fishing. No, nope, never had a chance. Um, then I had to go back to South Carolina for strike King. We had meetings about ICAST and about like what we're going to do next. So like, that's, that's going to be pretty cool. Then I left from there and went to this. And this is what kind of the video was all about. Like this video is like, it got me thinking. Um, I did this event, God in the Great Outdoors. Um, Skeeter asked me to do it. Um, it was in Rock Oak Baptist Church in Chandler, Texas. I had, I, I made some videos about it and actually on like my social media stuff. And, but I was still, I didn't really know what I was gonna do they asked me to do some seminars some fishing seminars over like two days and uh, the, the event was awesome I mean the absolute vendors they had there and I, I can't go through it all like they had let's go through it right real quick they had a pitching contest they were giving away stuff they were giving away an ATV I think they had helicopters landing they had a whole uh, I don't even know the technical term for like throwing out something like you know how like the dogs jump in the water like like that kind of a contest they had axe throwing they had they were shooting bows I mean they had I think like six to eight skeeters there brand new skeeters there um, they had tackle stuff there they had hunting stuff there I mean it, it they had like six bouncy houses for the kids they had a catfish catching thing for the kids they had a concert with I think Justin Grimes there. I mean it like guys, it it was it was way more than what I expected. And so I did these seminars and and I've never really done that many seminars, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I, I've talked in front of some high school kids and I mean I, I kind of do seminars on YouTube all the time, right? So it's not a big deal. Like it wasn't it wasn't anything that that I wasn't used to, but I kind of wasn't used to it, right? Um I'll get back to that. So then now I'm headed to Iowa for my kids um, junior Olympic track event. So I'm gonna be down there for four or five days. So it's been hard. It's been hard to make YouTube stuff. It's been hard to uh, go fishing. I haven't had a chance to when I get back though. I got to go shoot a show for Andrew on his uh, TV show Let's Fish TV. About the only stuff I've done is I've done a little kind of if you want to call them podcasts, we did the Bassmaster Open pick them, which I think I killed it. Like, killed it, finally. Um, so go check that one out, too, because I think they just had the elites on uh, St. Clair. So, with all that being said, right, um, this video is going to be short and sweet because uh, it's a question. Like, I, I, I was going good, right, up until you follow. Man, I mean, I had ideas about what I want to do. And it's very hard for me to just come out here and make a video just to like, I don't want to just kill time or like just do a video because I have to do a video. Um, I wouldn't say I'm burnt out, but like I don't have these topics. Now I'm going to do a video. Once usually I say it, I say I'm going to do one. I, I said I was going to do one from the Bassmaster Open on Let You Follow. Um, I'm still doing one for my private channel at the moment about the Toledo Bend Bassmaster Open. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, what are we on? Episode 12 or 13. And we just finally got into day one of the tournament. Actually, I don't even think I've released day one yet. Um, that, but that's how in depth I get on some of those. I think that one's called, uh, Headstrong Waters. 
right? This next one, I've had a couple of, uh, uh, of some guys said do like oaky waters. I liked oaky waters was one, red dirt waters was one. Um, I think those were the two I liked the best for the name of what I'm gonna do with that, that series about you follow Oklahoma, uh, you follow Lake, whatever, the Bassmaster Open. And because uh, there's some pretty cool stuff in there, I, I think. So I'm gonna get started on that. And those take me a long time. I mean, those are those are very hard series. I have to really, really like focus and commit to them. Cause I, I think since I've ever done them, I've never not missed my time when I put them out, right? Like I, I try to put out two a week. Um, it takes me a long time because I do voiceovers and everything. And so uh, if y'all have ever watched them, y'all know how extensive those things are. I also, it takes me a little time to like get them prepared because I have to go through all the footage and like it, it I don't want to bore y'all with, with the details of it, but I mean, I have to get all the footage out because like I record every minute of the entire practice and, and tournament. So what is there like? I don't even want to go through 90 hours of footage I have to go through. Um, and to find the parts to where I, to put it all together to, I don't want to say tell the story, but tell y'all like where it all goes. Cause you know, there's some dead time in there where I'm not getting bit or, or it's irrelevant and, and all that. So anyways, that's, that takes me some time to go through all that and I have to get it prepared. Cause if I try to do it all, you know, like in order, chronological order, um, it, it takes me too long. So I have to, there's a little pre-process before I do it. So anyways, I'm trying to get that out to y'all back to the whole deal here's the thing as i did these seminars which was really cool it was a very um when he asked me to do one i was like well i don't i don't know what to talk about like i don't know what people want right like what what do they really want me to talk about and and luckily he just suggested hey man um like it, it's summertime like it's like right now like what would you do to go catch fish and i was going he was like, you know, like, how do I go out there deep and do all that? Like, he just assumed that's where I was going to go with it. And I was like, yeah, I probably wouldn't tell you that. Um, or I'd tell you a different way of, of how I would look at it and how I would approach these things. And so I kind of gave him a little of what I look at in like this time of the year and, and why I look at it this way. And then he ended up and I was like, man, I kind of I kind of go against the grain. And that's what we called it. Like my seminars were going against the grain, like the things that we think about, right, that we've just been told for, for years upon years upon years, uh, this is what you should do. I've been saying this for like 20 years. I actually just heard someone on a podcast the other day, like a short little clip, talk about the fact that it, it, it was like an elite guy, like say something that I've been saying for 20 years, like 20 years. And in all my videos from years past, like I've been saying this, like this is how I fish. And, and I, it was funny, interesting to hear this guy say it. And I'm like, yeah, I've been saying this. This is like what I talk about. And so what would happen was in, in the seminars, I would I would kind of give a little background, a little history, and then all of a sudden, like how I look at stuff. But, and it was a very interactive deal. Like, so we, we ended up, um, I was like, hey, at any point in time, like stop me and ask questions. And so they did. What I learned from that is, I think some guys learned a lot of things. But I also realized that there's so many, what I would call misconceptions. Like, I, I think so. I, I think I almost got gave one guy a heart attack over the fact that I haven't caught a fish on a Texas rig worm all year, right? And then that when I told him, I'm like, hey, I hadn't really caught a fish on a rattle trap all year long on Rayburn, and I mean, he about lost it, right? And which was the truth. And so, I think there's still like these misconceptions and these thoughts about about fishing and stuff. And I just hit this wall with YouTube um, at the moment while I'm trying to get my other stuff ready. I, I don't want to leave y'all hanging on stuff. But I'm like, what What can I do? Is that something y'all want to hear, right? Or even if it's not, if like, I could just randomly do videos for y'all, but I'd much rather hear from y'all. So this is y'all's time. If y'all made it through the video this long, can y'all give me some hints? Can y'all give me some things y'all would like to talk about? Um, or like me to go over that would help out plus I mean what better like I'd rather give y'all what y'all want to hear rather than you know what I want to talk about sometimes so this is your chance if leave it in the comments uh, tell me if there's something y'all really want to hear or have me discuss or have me um, I might even have videos of me fishing this stuff like I, I have 
I mean, probably 4,000 hours of fishing that I still haven't put on YouTube for the last couple of years. So, I mean, I probably have this subject somewhere, somewhere tucked away. I just, I just don't know, right, if y'all really want to hear that. So, that's what this video is about. Um, I'll have like a week to think about it and start getting stuff ready in between while I'm making and getting, preparing for my Oklahoma waters, Oki waters, red dirt water. I don't know. I, I still need a little, I, I mean, if y'all leave on that too, like tell me, hey, if, if y'all do a little survey and I hear more like this is what y'all want to call it, I'm going to call it that way because I'm going to trust y'all on, on the naming stuff. So anyways, that's what I wanted to let y'all know. This is what this video is about. And then, because I'm about to start diving, I've got I've got time off. I'm about to like, I'm about to do a lot of fun fishing, a lot of learning stuff. Then I'll I'll, I'll jump right back in it. Um, probably a little bit in September. I have a lot of October off and the championship. I mean, I've got some championships and big tournaments coming up, but it's probably going to be I'm going to have some time to do some of this stuff. So, um, then get me past this wall I'm on. I'm 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 at this like writer's block, right? So uh, help me out, right? Leave something in the comments for me. Uh, I'll try to do it. I might do all of them. You never know. Or I might combine some. Who knows? All right. I got to go pack. I'm about to roll out. Um, I look forward to reading all y'all's comments, guys. All right. See y'all.